Mangrove swamps, what are they good for? Absolutely nothing? Well, not exactly. A short while ago, I published a video on the nine best village mangrove swamp spawn seeds in Minecraft, and you all asked, what could you build in the mangroves? The trees are too tied together, there isn't a lot of building space, and the aesthetic is generally rubbish. I'm gonna take one of those nine seeds and create a mangrove swamp base for you to consider. Then I'll offer it as a free world download on both Bedrock and Java editions. Let's get on with it. Mangroves are notoriously difficult to build in, but I figure there must be a way to create something awesome in this green and gray chaos. A base you can be proud of that will provide everything you need. Well, I'm gonna try anyway. I'm gonna be making up as I go, so let's crack on. As of right now, this is my palette. I have no idea what I'm gonna use or how I'm gonna use it. I might add stuff, I might take stuff out. I'm just gonna go with the flow. So let's make a start. The first thing I have to do is to clear some space. Not too much, but just enough to give me some breathing room so I can create a house and some surrounding area too. I want to keep the feel of the swamp as it is, but I do need to allow some room for the development. Now, I think I've given myself enough room now. There's plenty of trees still around me, but there's enough ground space for me to actually build something. I am gonna need to change up some of this ground space though. What I think I'm gonna do is keep some of the water, but change up some of the mud, put in some coarse dirt, some gravel, things like that, just to give more texture. I might even bring some packed mud in to keep the mud feel. Okay, so now I've got the platform upon which I'm gonna build this base. You know, it looks like a well-trodden area. It's got some stone in there as well to give it support. I'm quite happy with it. First thing I'm gonna do with this now is I'm gonna build up the house area, the actual place where you're gonna live. And for me, this feels like it needs to be something with stilts. And this corner seems to be the natural choice. So I've created this little L shape out of mangrove wood. I'm gonna bring these up another two spots. So they're a total of three spots high. And then between these pillars, right on the top one, I'm gonna create an oak plank platform. And that is not easy to say whilst you're trying to place blocks. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And then on this one, I'm gonna take out these middle three and I'm gonna place steps down and create steps going all the way down to the floor. And I'm then gonna raise these one spot more so they act as posts around the outside of our platform. And we're gonna turn this back rectangle into the actual house. That's gonna come up another four. So that's two, three, and four, a total of five high. I'm gonna do that on all four of them. And we're gonna build in some walls made of stripped oak with oak planks mixed in. And I've indented it just one, which means we've got one fairly long side and one fairly short side, but that's okay, that's what I'm after. So we've got all that stripped oak in place. I've got an upside down oak stair right there. And I'm just gonna bring in a little bit of variegation using these oak planks. I'm not gonna put any in the top. I'm gonna to put more at the bottom than there is at the top. And that way, it's a bit of a gradient gets formed. So it looks like that, which doesn't look like much at the moment, but we'll sort that out. I've punched out a number of little windows around. I've left a bit of that back wall open for reasons we'll get to a little bit later. Now what I'm gonna do with this lovely red wood of the mangrove, we're gonna build ourselves a roof. I'm gonna start along here on the outside of these back logs like that. And I'm gonna step this up so as we've got a, a slanted roof, it's gonna be a straight slanted roof. That's gonna start that size, and then I'm gonna come up and over, get rid of that and place that there. And then I'm gonna bring it along like this. And then I'm gonna carry on all the way to the front, which is gonna lift the front up by a number of blocks. So right now, it looks like that. And we're gonna raise these beams right up to the front. And then we're gonna increase the height of this wall using the same blocks. And we're also gonna bring the side and the back walls in so they meet the roof. And we'll find we've got some gaps between the roof and the blocks. That's okay, we're gonna sort those out later. We're gonna place mangrove fence inside all of the windows. That gives a really rustic effect to this building. Now this is way too big a wall, so we need to separate the lower and the upper elevation. So I'm gonna come up here, it's gonna leave two gaps there. I'm gonna have an upside down step, and I'm gonna have an upside down step every other one. I'm then gonna grab a slab, and I'm gonna place a slab between them to give that crenellated effect. And I'm gonna bring in the slabs across this top area because that's gonna close up that gap, at least for this front. And then I can come to the sides and fill in like this as well, because I think that's gonna make for the right kind of feeling. We've got what looks now like a block offset by half a block with each rise. 
And what I'm gonna do across the level of these steps, I'm gonna place some mangrove trap doors. These are really quite interesting trap doors. They've got the holes in and they work really well as a bit of an overhang on a lower level of a building. So I'm gonna bring these all the way across until we meet the area at the front. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place a mossy cobblestone wall on both of these parts there. I'm gonna get one mangrove fence on both of those parts right there. I'm gonna place another cobblestone wall on top of that and then on top of that replacing this trap door I'm going to place myself another piece of that mangrove wood now that's a bit flat we'll deal with the flatness in just a moment but we've got the basic structure of what it is I want but I do still need to come around the sides with these steps so one two three steps and then get myself a slab and one two slaps so i'm going to do that around the other side as well and what i'm now going to do is i'm going to use some more of this mangrove fence it's such a gorgeous color i'm going to bring it all the way around this veranda area like that i'm going to place one there one there and i'm going to bring it around the back of this veranda area as well now there is a lot of detailing that still needs to be put onto that it is super bland but we'll do that a little bit later and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the farm, the growing farm area underneath here. So I'm going to replace a lot of this stone that I put in earlier and that root. Not sure how many I'm going to leave blank, but anything that will turn into farmland, I'm turning into farmland now. So I've turned most of that into farmland and I'm going to place a number of seeds plus some carrots plus melons and pumpkins in here as well. I've placed some lanterns underneath there on some posts just to give it some light but I think that's going to grow beautifully. And what I'm also going to do on the side here is I'm going to plant in some sugar cane just along the edge like that. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bits of sugar cane. And I'm going to build a couple of little outbuildings to this house as well. These are going to come up three on the back and then at the front they're going to come up four that looks good remember this is going to be available as a world download completely free on both bedrock and java i'll tell you how to get it just a little bit later on in the video so we've got the main buildings in now but we still have to do the things that turn a base into a base things like crafting workstations enchanting potion making maybe some animals maybe even a nether portal bringing in some decoration and making sure that that main building is completely finished both inside and out and that sounds like something a good time lapse could fix so sit back relax enjoy the music and let's see if i can turn this patch of mud into something that is worthy of a base And I think we are just about done. Let's have a look around. Starting from the corner, we've got our sheep pen there with four sheep in it. We've got a place to do all of our smelting. We've got blast furnaces, smokers, and plenty of furnaces in there. We've got our cow pen, plenty of cows there to be able to breed, get food or milk if that's what you wanna do. A little bit of garden in here. That's just seeds when in there, wheat seeds. I made a little pond right in the middle to make it a feature. I thought it'd look quite nice. Before we go to the house, we've obviously got crops underneath there. Don't stand on the bush, you won't be able to see them. And then we've got magic in the form of potions right there with another wart farm and also some enchanting complete with grindstone and anvil 
The front of the house has been decorated up. We've got bushes, places to sit. The windows are now dressed with shutters. And I think it looks pretty good on the outside. Let's look inside. And all you need to do is come up the steps and in through this door. And we have got a compact but bijou little place. Somewhere to sleep. We've got all of our workstations ready. Plenty of storage all the way across there. A Little bit of green to make it look nice. It's well lit and you can come out onto your veranda and take a look at everything you own. One swamp base. And I think we did all right. I was going to put in a nether portal, but I've got to be honest, it didn't look very nice. If you want to download this and then put in your own nether portal, you go for your life. Speaking of which, if you would like to download this world in Bedrock Edition and Java Edition, just go to avamance.com. That is avamance.com. Right there, you will find a free downloads tab. Click on that and there will be a dedicated download link for both the Java version of this world and the bedrock version of this world. I actually really enjoyed doing this one far more than I thought I would in fact and I thought I was going to enjoy it. It looks really really good and natural. I've not created any paths out of the swamp because that's well you don't have a path going out of a swamp it's a swamp. If you want to live here you live like Shrek. If there are any other base ideas you fancy me having a go out let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to take a look at those and maybe I'll even make them into a video and I'll look forward to seeing you in another one. You take it easy now. Bye. Yeah.